Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. The Mass for Inspiration is brought to you in part by the LaSand Family and Samson Productions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate a very special feast day solemnity on the church calendar. We celebrate Trinity Sunday. On this day, we recognize God as, as one God, but three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Always, never separated, I should say, but always distinct. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So there are many gifts, but also to that understanding of the Trinity, we'll never fully be able to grasp in this lifetime, but to realize that God works through many ways, especially the calling down of the Holy Spirit, the Son to fulfill the scriptures, and God the Father and the references uh, so much in the Bible that lets us know the love of God, the love of a Father, sending His Son and through the Holy Spirit. So in gratitude, let us now prepare ourselves to enter into these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Will. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we, adore you, we, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the most Holy, Holy one. one. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai. As the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets, Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, if I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalt above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glorious Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubs, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and, and praise, praise forever. forever. 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As mentioned, we celebrate today a great feast day on the church calendar, the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. And when we think about that, we think Trinity, we hear it all the time, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, with all the prayers and every opening prayer and concluding prayer, and so many times throughout the Mass and all of our devotions. But still, we say one God, three persons. We can never really make sense of that totally because it's either one or three. So we say Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but they're not separated, they're always together. So it doesn't make perfect sense for us here on earth. We'll never fully understand it here, but it's one God, three persons. And there's something about the, that nature of three persons that helps us to better understand the love of God because we understand the love of God in terms of relationship. In particular, a father with his son or a parent with a child. And we understand that in the love shining forth, so we have that whole image of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we think about that in our own lives, but we also think about that love of God, the love that he has for each and every one of us. Now, God always existed as Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That never changed. But in the divine plan, the earth was formed and the human race came into existence and we had our first parents, Adam and Eve, and all the rest. But still, we're called then to live out all that God commands us so that we may be with him in eternity. And he helps us along the way, the way to do that. We have his grace, but also too, if we do follow that, we recognize this love of God, certain things happen. We know that we receive the Holy Spirit in the sacraments. In fact, every sacrament refers to the Holy Spirit and the pouring down of the Holy Spirit. But also too, I read an article that talked about what it does for us when we're open to the Holy Spirit and God's grace. That we hear we, about in our prayers to the Father, we're able to call God our Father as we gather together in public for Mass and, and the Son, a brother in Christ, and we're brothers and sisters to Him. But that Holy Spirit, when we fully accept the Holy Spirit, the more we accept the Holy Spirit, the brighter our souls shine. And what does that mean? Because we can't see our souls, but there are writings by the early church fathers that talked about sin clouds the soul. And the soul, if it's without sin, is brilliant and transparent. So our Blessed Mother, who was born without original sin and never sinned in this life, she's the only fully human person to do that, she specifically said in, in one in the scriptures, and it's a prayer that we say, the Magnificat, that her soul magnifies the Lord. And we think about that, what does that mean? It's a, if you think about a magnifying glass, how the sun shining through a magnifying glass is powerful, it's even brighter, it's even stronger. So that's what her soul does for the presence of God in the world. So we're called to do the same thing. Follow and look to her as an example, be open to the Holy Spirit, and then it would be like that clear pool of water or that shimmering pond or, or stream where we see that as the sun shines through and reflects and you can see all those, those rays of light reflecting off the surface or the bottom of the, the water or even in a swimming pool it's, it's when it's crystal clear and that sun hits it and there's a little bit of movement, how you have all that light that kind of moves along the, uh, uh, the bottom of the pool, along the, the liner and, and it just, 
it looks so clear and, and perfect and the, the sun is even brighter shining off or through that water. So our soul can do the same thing for the light of God as the Holy Spirit shines through us. If we truly are trying to be open to that grace, trying to avoid sin, as we receive the sacrament of reconciliation, our souls do become that, that, that quality of that glass-like clarity so that that is a goal and an opportunity and a gift available to us as we appreciate Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for all eternity, but even as we walk through our journey in this lifetime. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and, and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son of God, God born, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And let us now place our needs and the needs of the world before our God who always hears us. That all the faithful may continually strive to grow in their faith and love for the Most Holy Trinity, God, the Father, Son, and Spirit, through prayer, study, and attending the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all elected officials will work to enact laws that uphold the sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer from mental illness may have access to proper treatment and have the faith and courage to seek the Lord's healing embrace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That everyone in this faith community may recognize that we are called to holiness and may grow in our resolve to live as intentional disciples of Jesus and give a faithful witness to the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our deceased family members and friends and all who have died may live in the glory of God's loving presence in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and loving God, we know that you always hear us. We ask you to answer these prayers and those which we hold in the silence of our hearts. And we ask this as all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the the praise and glory of his name, for our our good good and the good good of all all his holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity and substance, and their equality and majesty. For this is praised by the angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world grant, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity in undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Brought to you in part by the LaSanne family and Samsung Productions.